Welcome to the next video in the series of judge training videos for the Pi Kappa Delta National Tournament. This video will discuss interpretation events and what to look for when judging these event categories. So in this video we'll talk about the six interpretation events of drama interpretation, duo interpretation, poetry interpretation, program oral interpretation, prose interpretation, and reader's theater. And we'll go through the specifics of all those events, what to look for, and also talk about some general ideas and general things to be thinking about with all six of these events. So interpretation events may seem the most unfamiliar to the public because they involve performances rather than public speeches, but they're very similar to those dramatic monologues or a theater performance or an acting event. And you can think about them a lot in that same way as you're judging these, uh, these performances. So a couple things to keep in mind with all these speeches. Uh, they should be memorized. Uh, the performer will actually take on the, a character and deliver the speech as though that character is speaking before you, so it should be memorized. But each of the, the students will be using a script book, and the exception to that is Reader's Theater. There they may or may not use script books. It's not required. The other five events that it is. And the reason that students have a script book is that the difference between interpretation and acting is that goal of interpretation is to link you as an audience member to the script. So the reason that they have the script book is to remind you that this is coming from some source material. It's not just a character that they're making up on the spot. All the performances at most can be 10 minutes in length, again with the exception of Reader's Theater, which can be a little bit longer, and we'll talk about the specifics of that event in just a moment. Uh, but all of the events should be within that 10 minute time frame. Uh, the speeches should also have an introduction as part of that 10 minutes, but all of that is considered part of their 10 minute performance time. As mentioned before, each of the students will take on a character or multiple characters if they decide to have uh, decide to go that way. Uh, but they will perform as those characters in the speech. So if you've got someone talking about what it's like to be a cab driver, they'll actually be the cab driver in their performance and will act as though they are that character. And then you should follow their story as though you're watching it uh, almost on the stage. And lastly, the performance should discuss or otherwise interact with an important or interesting topic. So they may not discuss it formally like a presentation. They may exemplify it through a story but they should be discussing or somehow related to an important issue and should have some sort of takeaway point from their performance. Now we'll talk about each of the specific events and what to look for in each event category. So with prose interpretation, uh, what they're attempting to do in this, uh, this category is to take a larger work and cut it down focusing on story. So they're using story to make their argument. Uh, when the rules say that use of manuscripts are required, that means that they're required to have a script book, and at most the performance is 10 minutes long. And while all the interpretation events may seem the same, there are slight differences in what you should be looking for as a judge. So in prose, they should be focused on telling a story that exemplifies their issue. So following a character or characters through a series of events that results in some conclusion or some lesson being learned. So you'll follow along with that story through their performance and write comments about their characters, if the story makes sense, if they're clear in what they're doing as a performer. All of those are totally valid comments that you can make. And if something just isn't un is some if something is just unclear, go ahead and say so. It's totally fine to make comments like that on the ballot. Drama interpretation again follows a lot of the same guidelines as prose in that. Uh, the required to use a manuscript, the maximum time limit is 10 minutes, the performer will be acting as a character. The difference between prose and drama, though, is the focus of their performance. In prose, they're focused on telling a story. In drama, you want to be looking to see how their character changes. So there may not be a complete story as part of their performance. It may be only a few steps, but their character should change or otherwise respond to their performance. And this is what distinguishes these two event categories. It's in prose, you're focused on story. Drama, you're focused on character. Are their characters believable? Do they go through a change? Is it meaningful? Does it impact you as an audience member? Other considerations such as clarity, um, balance, volume, all of which are totally valid, again, in this category for making your comments. There's the event description. Uh, the other difference between prose and drama is where the material comes from. Prose, it comes from something like a novel or a short story, 
drama, it comes from something that was written for performance, so a play script, a movie script, TV script, or a radio program. Poetry interpretation is again very similar to prose and drama, but here the difference is the focus of the event is on language and how does language exemplify an argument or a situation. Uh, so again, a manuscript is required. Uh, they cannot have any material from a play, but this usually isn't an issue. Uh, their maximum time limit is again 10 minutes. And in this event, it's more likely than not that they will have more than one poem as part of their performance. And they may bring in song lyrics and other things that are poetry-like, so long as it's not a play, a movie script, or a book that's specific to um, things that are poetic in nature. And their cutting will exemplify some theme or some argument through multiple selections that use language to advance their argument. So they may look at how words impact public dialogue or how they impact certain social groups in larger policy discussions. Or they may talk about emotional situations, like what is it like to be in love? And they'll have poems about, about what it's like to fall in love. And so they'll have different selections that exemplify their theme, but the focus here is on language. Now, program oral interpretation combines the previous three events. So where the first three events, drama, prose, and poetry, focus on developing one type of performance, program oral interpretation, or as it's known, POI, focuses on developing at least two or three of those genres in the same performance. So they may both tell a story and have a character evolve by putting together some prose and drama, or they may bring in some poetry and mix that with a character uh, from drama. And they'll mix these different pieces together to make an argument around a theme. And that's what you'll be looking for as a judge here. Does that theme develop throughout their performance? Again, a manuscript is required. Maximum time limit is 10 minutes, which includes their introduction. So here they are just mixing those genres, which allows them to make some different arguments that aren't possible in some of the other event categories. Duo interpretation is exactly what it sounds like. It's very much like poi in that their performance can be prose, it can be drama, it can be poetry, or it can be a mix of all three. But instead of having just one performer, you'll have two performers in this round. And the focus of this event is on that interaction between their characters. So it may be characters that go on a story together. It may be characters that are in conflict. It may be the characters that exemplify two different positions on an issue. And your goal as a judge is to see how do those two characters interact and how does that advance their argument or their theme. Now some of the other specifics of this event is it's not an acting event so there's no costumes or props or lighting. You shouldn't have to worry about that as a judge. Um, they also should not be focused on each other but rather focused on the off stage, focused on interacting with you or with the audience in their performance. Uh, maximum time limit is also 10 minutes including their introduction and they are required to have a script. Um, so they will have a script book just like in the other events. Really the only difference here is the focus on the interaction between the two individuals and the fact you have two performers. And lastly we have Reader's Theater. The difference between Reader's Theater and the other events is that it starts to gravitate a bit more towards acting as you're developing usually one script though sometimes there are uh, two scripts that are cut together and it's for an entire group of individuals rather than just one or two people. So with Reader Theater, the performance is both oral and visual, so there should be elements of both in their performance. Uh, and they will work on developing emotions and the imaginations of the listeners and the viewers. Um, there also should be a feeling of unity across the entire performance, so that all performers are contributing to what you see on stage. But it will be a group of individuals who will perform. Uh, it's unlikely, because there are only a few uh, sections of Reader's Theater. It's unlikely you'll be judging this event, but in case you are, it's very similar to the other events and what you're looking for. You're looking for characters, language use, uh, storyline. How does this all interact to make the argument that uh, the group is going for? Because there are longer events, and we'll see that here on the next page with the specifics of the category, because these events are longer, you'll only have two or three performances instead of the five or six from the other interpretation events because they are longer. So these performances may last up to 25 minutes in length, and they'll have two minutes on the beginning and on the end for setup and takedown if they need them. Uh, a lot of the groups will not have that. They'll just go up with their script books and be ready to perform. Uh, the groups have anywhere between 3 and 14 people. 
Uh, in this case, they can use music, costumes, props, and staging, uh, so long as it doesn't somehow damage the space that they're using. It's very unlikely that, that you will see that. Uh, it happens every now and then, uh, but most of them prefer to just focus on developing their story like they would for other interpretation events. But you'll have a group of individuals, some of which they may perform in smaller groups, so they may have characters that come in and off stage. Uh, it really depends on what they're going for, but your, your goal in that situation is to focus on, you know, do they develop their theme? Do they develop their storyline? How do their characters interact? What are, your, your, what are your impressions from watching this performance? And it can last up to 25 minutes, though again, it usually runs a little bit shorter. So here are a couple of judging tips to keep in mind for all six of the event categories. First, you can definitely critique both the story and the character. So does the storyline or does the theme that they're developing make sense? And how do the characters play? Do the characters fit that story? Do they fit that theme? Uh, do the characters, are they consistent? Does the character kind of get muddy and change over time? You can focus on any of those elements of their performance uh, in writing your comments. Are they clear and easy to understand? You'll want to write your comments on the ballot during the performance. Uh, because of the time constraints of the tournament, it, you just won't have time to write your ballots at the end of the round. Plus, you want to write your comments as you're thinking about them so that you give the students the most accurate feedback that you can. But you will want to write during their performance, and that's totally fine. They're expecting that. Focus both on suggestions for areas of improvement as well as what they're doing well. Kind of balance your feedback. You want to give them some critique so they know what to improve on, but also some encouragement is also helpful so they don't uh, feel completely torn down by a balance with just negative comments on. You want to give them a little bit of encouragement as well. And lastly, trust your impressions. You're the judge in the round. You're the one who's witnessing this performance. You probably have a gut instinct about what you like and what you didn't like from the performance. And that's totally valid. Write those comments down on the ballot so the students know what you're thinking about their performance. It may seem like, oh, I don't have any experience to judge acting events. And maybe you don't have formal training in acting or in interpretation, but that's okay. You shouldn't need that to watch a performance and tell if it's meaningful. Does it impact you as an audience member? Are you moved into the characters and storyline make sense? Those are all things that you can easily make comments on and use as your criteria when you're ranking the students in the round. So trust your impressions. You know what, you, what works for you, what is meaningful for you, and what isn't. Just let the students know that on the ballots. You're the judge, you're always right. Uh, if they don't adapt to you or aren't clear, that's on the speaker. So this video described the specifics for the six interpretation events of drama interpretation, duo interpretation, poetry interpretation, program oral interpretation, prose interpretation, and reader's theater. Uh, if you have any questions about these events, of course, let us know. Uh, but think about those themes that we've discussed in this video as you're judging these events, and you'll be totally fine and totally set to offer lots of feedback for these students.